Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's September 2020 and we've had added to the FA-18C Hornet air-to-ground ranging AGR. To understand this, let's dissect one of WAGS's paragraphs. So air-to-ground ranging mode AGR is an indirect radar mode. It is commanded automatically by the mission computer when deemed necessary and cannot be directly selected. Its purpose is to provide slant range to an aim point to allow a more precise calculation of altitude above the target. When commanded, the AGR legend will appear on the HUD and the RDR attack format will display the AGR sub format. RDR attack format, what he means is the MFD, the right MFD, where you would usually see the air to ground radar. If the radar was operating in map mode, which it probably is, it's possible to exit AGR mode and return to map by assigning TDC priority to the RDR attack format. Now that sounds very wags and very confusing. It's not at all. We're going to use this when we are going for a CCIP attack with a gun, with rockets, with a bomb, with whatever else we can attack with the CCIP. So let's do an example. Air to ground mode on, get the gun. As default, we've got the air to ground radar comes up here on the right MFD and we are in map mode as standard. Let's go and unpause. Now watch what happens, let me find some bad guys, there's some bad guys, I'm going to put the pipper roughly on the bad guys, and I'm going to press SCS forward now, and stop. What's happened is, when we press SCS forward now, what would traditionally make the HUD soy, or assign the TDC to the HUD, now gives us AGR. Look, AGR has appeared here, air to ground ranging, and in here, where we used to have the air to ground radar, we've now got the AGR screen, and it's telling us the range through that pipper there to the ground is 7,020 feet. Now, why is it useful being shown here? To be honest, I can't find any tactical use for it showing that. It just looks cool. Look, watch this. You can see it counting down there. And that's going to tally pretty um, pretty much with what we've got here on our range counter. Zero, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 4,800, 4,800. We can't find any documentation of this. Even in NATOPS, we can't find what delta velocity zero knots means. If anyone knows what delta velocity zero knots mean, that would be really useful. We've tried ideas. We've tried moving these tanks towards us, highlighting them, seeing if it can tell us the speed of that tank or that ship, but it doesn't work. Another thought is it may be some kind of error in this calculation, and we can't get it to say anything other than the zero knots. So let us know your thoughts, please. Next, I want to show how we can get out of AGR. Either we can assign TDC back to the map, back to the air to ground radar. In fact, let's just do that. Ping, we're back to there. If I assign AGR again by using SCS forward, another way is we can press this guy here and designate, and that will get rid of it. So designate, and it gets rid of it and takes us back. To that page so that's all very cool but the question arises now well what use is that and how exactly does it work in fact the main question we're asking is is air to ground radar ranging constantly and passively even when you don't select it or is it only doing radar ranging when you actually manually press SCS up and get the AGR tag. From what WAG said, it's commanded automatically by the mission computer. So as long as you've got a radar and you've got your radar turned on, then it's going to be doing it automatically. And then pressing the SCS up command is not changing the function at all, but just giving you this extra display. I've got no way of testing it to ensure that it is being used passively. So you guys let me know what you think and how you interpret WAG's paragraph on that. And the crux of that question is, of course, so if I press SCS up and get AGR on, will it make my PIPA more accurate? And I can't answer that. That's something that someone else needs to tell us. That's all I've got to show. I invite your feedback so we can clarify exactly what's going on here. Hope you enjoyed that. See you later.